Hey, you like hear a story about henna? Most beautiful henna ever? <laughs> yeah. Henna. She was one beauty like no other before her. Where she come from? Oh, nobody really know, but this is for sure. Whenever one voyage canoe touched the shore, people there claim her as one of their own. Huh? From Nukilani to Hawaii, everybody want to be Hina's Ohana. Because she was not only beautiful, but also very smart. Heh, <laughs> not only that, but she could make better kappa than anybody. <laughs> and you know, maybe she was from all those islands. Goddesses can do all kinds of things, right? So maybe she is from Riatea and Pango Pango and wherever. But Maikomo said she was from Hilo. Or, um, or Maui, eh? not, not sure. Eh? Some people think Hina born out of the surf when the big wave come. Others think maybe she swam out, you know, from the quiet mangrove. Oh, or maybe she was born like one eel in the rocks. My Kumu think she just happened in the beautiful coral bed, eh? However it was happened, she was one beautiful wahine. Oh, her eyes were big and black, her hair shiny and thick like a... Eh, how I know? Well, well, it's true there was no camera to take pictures in those days, but everybody said so. And if you really want to see for yourself, you can. There are these people we call artists. They can close their eyes and see inside their head how things and people look like in the old time. Even if there was no camera. Yeah? Some say that they can even see into the future. I am no going to bet on that. But so anyway, you can be sure everybody agrees on that. When I say Hina was one beautiful honey, she really was. When she was moved out of her Ohana house, she go live with this human guy, one, one chief named Aikana, close to Hilo on a big island. I think a big island because she was one big copper maker, and for that she need a lot of water. So by the river would be just right, eh? Yeah, for a copper maker like her, Right by Wailuku River would be just perfect. Now, she loved to make kappa, and hers was more fine, more strong, and more better looking than anything any other wahine on Hawaii could make. She wake up early, as soon as the light was bright enough for her find her kappa beater. And she worked hard until dark. But she had a lot of pelakea. La, the sun god, was so fast go overhead, not enough heat for dry her kappa. And that made her hoo hoo. Hey, if goddess like me no can finish dry my kappa in one day, how can other wahini do it? La, the sun, he just go sleep too early. Oh, wait. He run through the sky like in one race. You don't pay attention to us. Hey, you don't care. I fixed that, she said, because she was not only pretty, but plenty smart. And when her anger was come up, huh, even La got to watch out. So she called up Maui, her son, and told him the problem. Now, Maui was only half God. He was not powerful uh, like La, but this Connie was quick. And he was so full of tricks that if anybody could deal with this lazy son, it would be him. He's the one who gave fire to Kanaka, after all. Now, Maui, he had this magic paddle. And when he put him in the water twice, his canoe make one big jump from Big Island to the beach at the foot of Haleakala. That's where La have his holly. Maui hid in the Nampaka bush. And he wait for the sun go asleep. The 
then, very quiet, he set his trap where La would have to pass when he go get out from his holly. He wait all night. And when the sun woke up and would start to jump into the sky, he fell into Maui's trap. Ha, La, scared, you know. And he rolled around, and he was getting more trapped than before. When Maui came back for check on him, the son asked, hey, why you catch me up, eh? I got to go dry all the copy for the wahine. Eh, but you too much, Aluiki, Maui answered. You go too fast for make warm air for dry pa kapa. So la, he fought the trap, and he tried barking. But at the end, he had to promise not to go to the sky more slow. And that's how Henna and the other copy beaters got longer days, eh? Eh? Oh, so how come Henna is up on the moon? <sighs> Just like many other good women. He didn't give many children not to Aikina, her husband. He was just human. But her Kiki, when they grow up, they make plenty pilakia for her. One of them was Kamapua the pig. And like I say, <laughs> plenty pilakia. But the worst was when Aikina turned against her. He don't care for her, call her names in front of other people, and worse, hey, she the goddess. Enough of that, she said. Pow. And she decided to run away. First she tried to climb the sunbeam, but it was so hot she had turned loose. So she waited for night. And when the moon came out, she found herself a nice moonbeam, and up she was go. <laughs> but this guy, kind of, he caught up with her, and he grabbed her foot. <laughs> no, nobody was going to stop Anna when she made her mind up. And she was climbed fast up, and she lay down on the moon for rest. She's still on the moon now. She don't got hoo-hoo for anybody. She still watch over her own folk down on earth with lots of aloha. Everybody can look up and see her and see her smile. How, how Hannah comes so beautiful? Well, we can see Anya, the artist who make her image. She's finishing the statue now. Anya, how come you're so interested in Hawaii kind figure, yeah? Maybe these heroes and goddesses should be left in the stories, eh? Because they are fascinating. The old Hawaii overflows with wonderful characters that inspire artistic imagination. There are many gods, semi-gods, that transform their bodies from humans into sharks, turtles, or lizards. Gods that use the power of nature to reward and punish their people. And there are many heroes to be proud of. I think it is important, especially today, to continue telling these stories. And an image, a sculpture, may be worth a thousand words. Our contemporary islands and our civilization owe so much to the old Hawaiian traditions. I feel that we should try to give back something back to our benefactors. And that's why I sculpture Hawaiian legends. Your Hawaiian gods, Ali and the princesses, hey there. Ah, uh, there's some place we can meet them. Yes, they have the reunions in uh, art shows like um, the World Center. I have my sculptures uh, in um, the galleries in Honolulu and also in my studio in Kailua.